Hello and welcome to Bose Garage. So in today's video, we'll show you how to replace the engine oil, oil filter and diesel filters on a Toyota Quartz diesel. Yes. So basically we have to replace the engine oil every 5,000 kilometers. As per Toyota owner's manual, if you are using Toyota genuine oil filter, yeah. they say to replace the oil filter at every 10,000 kilometers or every two oil changes. Yes. But as this is an old vehicle which has done lakhs of kilometers, it is better to replace the engine oil and oil filter at the same time. That is at every 5,000 kilometers. Yeah. For the diesel filter, mm -hmm. we have two filters. A pre-filter and, and the main filter. filter. Toyota recommends the pre-filter to be changed at every 10,000 kilometers and the main filter every 20,000 20, kilometers. kilometers. So our Toyota Qualys has done 220,000 kilometers now. So we need to replace the engine oil, Everything. oil filter and diesel filter. Everything. Everything. So we will show you all this in this video. But before going to the video, every 5,000 kilometer, the service is not just replacing the oil and oil filter. There are so many other checks which you can do on your own at home. Yes. First thing is make sure your engine and underbody is always clean. This will enable you to check for any leakages. Mm. And every 5,000 kilometers or earlier, make sure to check all the fluid levels, like the power steering fluid, coolant, brake fluid, brake fluid and, and, and the brake system also. Brake system also, check for any leaks yeah. or any cracks on the hoses, yeah. especially the radiator hoses and the brake line hoses, of course. fuel hoses. Mm. You should check for any leaks. Also, as this one has a hydraulic clutch, Make sure oh, to yes. check the hydraulic yes. fluid level as well. Yes. So these are the basic checks that you can do on your own. And don't wait for 5,000 kilometers. You can do on a periodic, like a bi-weekly basis or of once course. in a month or also. That's, that's absolutely fine. And it will enable you to have more confidence with your vehicle. Yes. Since will, this is an old car, a very old car. Very old car. This is almost uh, 20 years old now, yeah. 19 years old yeah. now. Uh, in, frequent check is a must. Frequent check is a must. Yes. But if you do all the frequent checks and maintain it properly, this will do service for another 10 or 15 years. Daily or driven. Da on, on a daily on basis. A daily you can, basis, you can yes. use on a daily basis. Anyway, we will share a copy of the Toyota Qualys Honors Manual also with this video. Mm. And now let's move on to the video and we'll show you how to replace all these yes. things. So let's start with draining the oil first. Before to drain the oil, let us just keep open the oil filler cap. Then the tools required are an oil filter wrench to remove the oil filter, a 14 mm socket and wrench to remove the oil drain plug. So we will drain the oil first, we will keep it on drain and then in the meantime we will replace the main filter and the pre-filter and main filter for the diesel fuel. We will replace this one and go back and fill the oil. So we will have an extended time to drain the oil. So let us remove the oil filter now. We have the oil filter wrench. Before to remove the oil filter, keep a basin under the oil filter as well because when you remove the oil filter, some oil will drip to the bottom. Just to catch that one, just prepare another oil pan. So we have removed the oil filter and we are still draining the oil now. In the meantime, let us replace the diesel filters. So to get access, proper access to the diesel filters, we can just remove this inlet line. So let's remove the pre-filter first. All we need is a 14 mm open end spanner.
So now we can remove the main diesel filter. So at the bottom of the main diesel filter, there is a water sediment indicator. So we need to remove the co connection of this indicator. After that, we need to use a uh, similar to an oil filter wrench, we need to use a smaller wrench to remove this main filter. So we have removed the main diesel filter. On the main diesel filter, as I told you before, there is this water level indicator. We need to reuse this indicator. There is an o-ring over here which comes with the new filter. Also whenever you remove, you need to check there is a drain plug over here and if there is any leak, there is an additional o-ring. That also you need to replace. So before to install the filters on the engine, we need to do some pre-assembly over here and uh, we will show you how to do the pre-assembly of each of the o-rings and stuff and then we can in start installing it one by one on the engine. So this is the pre-filter parts, this is the main diesel filter part, the water level indicator, o-ring, oil filter, this one is an Indonesian brand called Sakura, it is quite good quality, Purolator also is available, is good and there is this Toyota genuine oil filter as well that is slightly more expensive than these two brands. Anyway, we will share the links for all or we will share the part numbers for you. And another important thing is whenever you are installing each of these o-rings or the rubber gaskets, make sure to smear a bit of oil on all of them, especially on the main diesel filter o-ring as well as the oil filter o-ring because these two are spin-on type. And if you do not smear oil and you try to turn it because of the friction, this o-ring can get damaged and it can start creating leaks. So always ensure to smear some oil on the filters, filter o-rings. So let us do the pre-assembly now.
So, we can install the diesel filters now. Before to install the diesel filters, make sure that the surface is clean. You can use a mirror like this to check if the surface is properly cleaned or not. And for the pre-filter, there is a rubber gasket. You need to insert it in a groove. After that, we can start to install the filters. For the main diesel filter, we removed it using a wrench. But for installation, we don't need to use that. So as per the instructions on the filter, we just need to hand tighten it. This is a spin-on filter. Just hand tighten it. And after tightening, connect the water separator indicator connection. And once you start up the engine, just check for any leakages. If there is some minor leakages, just tighten it again by hand. That's it. To install the pre-filter, it is easier to take out this particular module and install the filter outside and then put it back in position. For that, all we need to do is to re remove these two hoses and these two nuts. So, we will show you how to remove and then we will install the pre-filter. Just tighten it properly and make sure, check here and ensure that the gasket is not dislocated, it is properly in place. So after that we can install it back and pump the filter to ensure that the diesel flow is there. So we completed the installation of the diesel filters, we put back the hoses, we cleaned the air filter and put it back. Now we need to use the hand primer to prime the two filters. You can just pump it like this until it becomes hard and then we can shift to replacing the oil filter and filling the oil. After that we can start the engine and check for the leakages. So now we can proceed to install the oil filter. Before to install the oil filter ensure to clean this area properly and after that we can just put back the oil filter and tighten it using the wrench. So let us install the oil filter now. As I told you earlier, make sure to apply oil on the o-ring and also clean the surface of the metal base. And now we, first we need to install the oil filter by hand and un tight it by hand until the o-ring touches the metal base. After that, tighten the filter 3 by 4 turns using the wrench. Don't over tighten the filter or you will have difficulty to remove it during the next oil change.
So now we have filled around 4.8 liters. So it has gone above the level of full. This is the full level because now the oil filter is empty. So after you start up the engine, uh, wait for some time and after cool down, check the oil level again. So it should be near full. That is the correct oil level. So now as we have completed all the installation, the oil filter, drain plug and the diesel filters, we can start the engine and check for any leakages. And after that, once you stop the engine, we can check the oil level again after waiting for some time for the oil to settle down. Then if the level is fine, that's it, we have completed the activity. So we hope you watched our video, we hope you liked it, Yes. if you liked it, subscribe to our channel and do share it with your friends or fellow owners of Toyota Qualys and if you have any comments or concerns or feedbacks, do let us know by commenting below the video or you can send an email to us at bosgaragesnow at gmail.com. So thanks for watching Bose Garage, see you soon with another video. Thank you.